Hey guitar players, my name is Sean Trotter. I'm the person that composed and played the music that you hear at the beginning of Ted Woodford's uh, guitar repair videos on his channel on YouTube. Um, it's simply known as Ted's Tune and it's a short eight bar piece of music that has lots of twists and turns. And um, over the last couple of years, Ted has received lots of nice comments from people saying how much they like the tune. And I just wanted to say, thank you like personally say thank you to you for that and um but also people inquiring about you know are there there tabs for the tune like like could i learn to play this and uh, that's what i'm going to show you how to do today and incidentally if you don't know who ted woodford is uh, i highly suggest you go to the link below and sign up for his youtube channel um he does all of these great guitar repairs and um it, it's just super super interesting i highly highly recommend his channel Okay, so I'm going to break the tune into three easy to handle parts and uh, hopefully that makes your life a little easier. Let's get to it. Okay, so the opening part of the song, so, so section number one, is all based around a chord known as C69. It looks and sounds like that. Here's a diagram of it. And what's going on is there are uh, nine notes in that opening that opening little part and there's only three notes that actually aren't part of that chord uh, that chord shape that we play so by learning that that gives you something to really anchor on to uh, a place to call home um, especially if you're not familiar with playing further up the neck like I'm around the ninth tenth fret area here okay and when I play this I so I don't play it like a like a chord and let them ring I am playing them individually right to give that give it that that kind of melody melodic sound um and in terms of what i'm doing with my pick check this out so i am starting with an upstroke and on on this note which is the b i'm hammering that on and then i'm using all down strokes to do that first part and i'm rolling that finger And then I resume regular down and up strokes. All right, so part number two. Looks and sounds like that. So what's going on is we are moving chromatically or note by note, starting at the 10th fret here, that's an F note. We're going F, E, E flat. And then I am moving my first finger here to the D. So I'm not going like that. I'm going actually like, so third finger, second, first, sliding my first one over. And I am picking all those, so that's not a, that's not one of those things, okay? So it's, okay, and then I'm jumping back here with my second finger. So that little part right there has the same fingering pattern. So I'm on my third string, uh, ninth fret, 10th, and then I'm going to my 2nd string, 9th fret, 10th, and then reaching over here with my 1st finger. It falls really nicely under the hand. And then down a fret to the B, to my 2nd string with my 2nd finger, to the G note. All right, so just before we get into the third and final section with the big finale, uh, I just wanted to ask that if you're liking this video, if you wouldn't mind liking and subscribing my YouTube channel. That helps me an awful lot, and thank you so much in advance. Now, down at the bottom in the description section, there's a link as to how you can get your own PDF copy of this tune, and then you could print it off and make your notes on it personally. Okay, so let's get to part three. Now as for the third and final section, uh, this can be a little bit tricky, so I'm just going to break it down. It starts with a little four note riff that goes like that. And what that is, is I'm playing an E note, so I'm on the second string, fifth fret, and I'm going hammering on to my F, so sixth fret, and then I'm going to take this finger, I'm going to roll down to the C sharp, or the sixth fret on the third string, and then I go back with my second finger to my second string, back to that E. Now, you may have noticed the fingers I'm using, I'm using my second and my third finger. 
Why? Why would I do that instead of first and second, which are probably more coordinated? It has to do with setting your hand up for what's going to happen next. So here's the riff again. Now I reach over here to a D note, so it's 7th fret on my 3rd string with my pinky. And then I go to my B note, which is the 4th fret on the 3rd string. I go to my A on my 4th string, 7th fret. And then I reach way over here uh, to my F note on my 4th string, 3rd fret. And then I land on this, which is D, 5th string, 5th fret. Okay, now that I've landed on my D, I roll up to my G. Okay, so D to G, so G's on the same fret, 5th fret, but on the 4th string. Reach over here with my 1st finger, play a B flat to the B, back to that G. So I'm like... it is all in perspective okay so from that D again and then to the, that D to the B and then I reach for the, the, the grand the big finale here I play this C note here not here here and then slide all the way up okay so one more time that whole Alright, so here's the whole thing, just slightly slower. Well, there it is. That's how I play Ted's tune. I hope that that helps and that you really enjoy playing. Uh, please leave me some comments. Let me know how you make out. Happy guitaring. I'm Sean.